It's been years since I finished school, but I truly can't forget how one of my classmates solved this problem in his mind, just in one second. And after that lesson, when I asked him how, how you did it, he said me about one feature that you have to remember to solve these equations really fast. There are about two ways how to solve this equation. The long way, you can square both sides of these equations sine squared x plus 2 times sine times cosine x plus cosine squared x and it equals to 2. Sine plus cosine equals to 1 and 1 and 2 delete equals to 1. So, 2 times sine x cosine x equals to 1 and left side equals to sine of 2x and it equals to 1. That's why 2 times x equals to p divided by 2 plus 2pn and x equals to p divided by 4 plus p n. It's not a really bad way to solve, but it's not a second. Not a nearly a second. My classmate solved this in his hand is just a less than a second. But how? At the beginning of the video I said that there is one feature that you have to remember. Let's write left side of this equation like function of x it equals to sine x plus cosine x and let's analyze it and find a derivative of this function the derivative of this function equals to derivative of sine equals to cosine x plus derivative of cosine equals to minus sine x and to find a point of maximum or minimum it equals to zero. What we can see? We see that cosine x equals to sine x. It means that tangent x equals to 1. And it can take place when x equals to p divided by 4 plus pn. Look at this and this one. So, this function takes a maximum value in x equals to p divided by 4 plus pn. In this point, sine and cosine are equals and they are both equals to 1 divided by square root of 2. Of course, 1 divided by square root of 2. So, the function have a maximum value of p divided by 4 plus pn and it equals to square root of 2. What is this feature? We now understand. Wherever right side it is, we understand that sin x plus cosine x has an absolutely maximum value equals to square root of 2. And it takes place in p divided by 4 plus pn or in trigonometrical circle when there is sinus and cosine. It takes places in these two points. This is p divided by 4, sine and cosine and these points are equal. And some of these two functions are the biggest at this point. So guys, I hope that you'll remember this trick to a lifetime. It will help you to solve a lot of trigonometrical equations in math. I hope you're really going well and you enjoyed looking this video. Subscribe to the channel, comment and I really want to see you in the next video.